Hey guys, it is April from Getting Hugo With It. Today is day number one of the Sweet Winter Read series. So today we're going to be talking about cold climates and books set in cold, cold climates. And you know, I live in Ottawa, Canada, and it's, it's cold here. I'm not gonna lie, it's cold. Uh, it's winter here between like November, sometimes October, right until end of April. It's We have a long winter season. Um, and I do tend to reach for books with colder climates in this time. So these are the books that I would recommend. Three of them that I have read and two of them I have yet to read. So let's dive into it. <music> book that I would really recommend to you is The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. Even the cover of The Miniaturist just screams winter to me. And this takes place um, in 1686 and we follow this very young bride named Nella. She moves to Amsterdam to her husband's home and she's left her family behind. She moves in with him and she's a young bride and he gives her this little dollhouse as a wedding gift and she's kind of insulted at first because she's like well I'm not a child I'm, I'm you know a grown woman now I'm married to you and so she's a little insulted at first uh, and then she starts to receive little pieces and little figures for the dollhouse that are just landing on her um, you know, doorstep and are landing in this actual dollhouse and all of these pieces start to reflect what's going on in her life and also start to reflect what's going to just happen in her life in like a hot second. Um, and so it's very eerie. It's a slow paced book, um, but I really enjoyed it. It, the, uh, it was so atmospheric. I'd also really like to recommend Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. If you haven't read this yet, I mean, my gosh, you're in for a treat. This is another very slow burning book, but it's so tense. Uh, this is about um, a woman, a murderess in Iceland. She is convicted of murdering her former master. Iceland is very small and doesn't have a guillotine. And so they need to like order a guillotine from another country and have it shipped over. So in the meantime, between her being charged and convicted of murder and the guillotine arriving, they've got to put her somewhere. Uh, and they don't have like a plethora of jails or anything. So they set her up with this little family in Iceland and she's meant to do work there. And just the setting of Iceland in and of itself is very cool and stark and cold. Um, and I just loved the storyline. It was so interesting. I, th I think it's based on a true story. I want to say that it's based on a true story. Don't hold me to that, but I think it was. Next, I'd like to recommend The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon. Now, this book was a lot of fun. This follows two storylines, really. We follow Ruthie and we follow Sarah. Now, these two women lived at completely different times in life um, in this house in Vermont. And Ruthie's mother goes missing. And she doesn't know where she is and she's kind of taking care of her younger sister and she's wondering like when is my mom gonna get back and she's starting to worry and she finds under the floorboards of her mother's bedroom she finds this old diary uh, from a woman named Sarah who also lived in that house now Sarah was found murdered and dead in the grounds of the house. So she was found, I think, in the front yard or the backyard of the house. Um, and so Ruthie starts going through this diary and trying to understand what happened to Sarah and did she know that she was gonna be killed? And this whole book is set in January. And so it's, it's a wintry kind of read. It's called The Winter People. I mean, it doesn't get more wintry than this book. 
The next two books I haven't read yet, but I really want to, and they're both incredibly wintry. So the first one that I want to talk to you about is The Two Family House by Linda Cohen Lehman. And this takes place in Brooklyn in 1947. And one night there is a massive blizzard and there are these two families that live in like a two family brownstone. And they are, the women of these families are actually sisters by marriage. And they both go into labor at the same time and they have babies that are born just minutes of one another. And these sisters have been very, very close their entire lives or since they've become sisters. And this event starts to unravel their relationship. And I think there are some family secrets involved here. And I want to know, like, are the babies swapped or something? That would be like my worst nightmare, I think. So maybe I shouldn't think about that too much. But uh, I, I just am so curious what happened that night. I mean, shouldn't that be just one of your most joyous nights that your son or daughter is, are, bar, are born? But no, it sounds like something really bad happened. So I want to read that. The next book is The Memory Keeper's Daughter by Kim Edwards. And this takes place on a winter night in 1964. And we follow Dr. Henry, who is forced in a blizzard to, del to deliver his own twins. His son is born healthy, happy, everything is good. Um, but his daughter is born with Down syndrome. And he makes, the, he makes this like split second decision to take his daughter and remove her. He gives his daughter to his nurse and says, please take her away to an institution. I, I want to protect my wife and this daughter is not going to belong to our family. And instead of doing that, the nurse moves cities and keeps the daughter for herself and raises her. Um, and I don't know whether that doctor ever finds out or not, but I would really like to know what happens to the baby um, and what happens to these families. It sounds really interesting. So those are the cold climate books. You're going to want to go and get yourself a cup of tea or a hot chocolate and hunker into these ones. So I will be back here with you tomorrow to talk about the warmest characters that I've read in literature. These are characters that uh, just have remained in my heart. I just love them so much and I want to share those with you. So that's tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye.